Well, well, well. Back again. This is Privateer FX coming at you at the European Open. About 90 minutes before the European Open. Uh, Euro Yen, I mean Euro Yen. Aussie Yen is uh, just getting through our key level here. 7950. Uh, we're short uh, as we've been talking. And. This hourly close will be important if we just dial down to the hourlies now, you'll see. You don't want this to close at 53 with a long tail. Um, but really, uh, if you sold here, you just have to kill it at 62. If you sold higher up, you just have to be cautious uh, if we start trading above 60. I think the real resistance is uh, this, this key low here, which is 65. Uh, equities got hit in Asia. Looks pretty bad. Looks pretty risk off. Um, so, of course, short as the end. Not a bad idea. Quickly, here are the equities. This is the hourly chart. One, two, three, four, five. Five hours ago. So just after the Tokyo Open, equities finally banged through 27.50. Kind of a cool 20 handles lower. Uh, and here we are. I mean, this next level here, um, 2732 uh, on an hourly close will be important. I guess the low is 3150. Equities don't look great. Um, so, I mean, we're going to express this through, uh, through Aussie N. Probably also Euro Yen today will be short again. We'll have to see how, uh, how that looks. One of the things we have to think about now going into this um, this week is, of course, we talked a lot yesterday about Bank of Canada tomorrow, so this takes precedence. But heading into ECB on uh, Thursday, uh, surely with this uh, shaky Italian sort of standoff and with the DAX is going to open down it's going to gap open this morning uh, and DAX is going to end up breaking some key levels as well um, they're going to be dovish uh, they're going to be sort of I would say opaque not change a whole lot not make any grand statements about ending uh, reinvestment about timelines and horizons um, but they're going to show concern which a couple things are going to happen uh, this, this should take euro through this key 114.35 uh, and this should take euro yen back down to the lows here's an interesting little line in euro yen that I drew this morning just connects these two lows a lot of people are going to look at this now and say it's kind of some sort of head and shouldery number or shoulder here. Um, and like a lot of these decent setups, I would say this is decent so far. Um, there's no support underneath, right? So the, f the first support comes in 150 points below. So this will attract some interest from a lot of professional traders has all of the key ingredients of a good setup. The story is there, the technicals are there, and there's no support. So let's keep an eye on this. It's far away now, but we're going to start getting core short Euro Yen today. Uh, and we have the Aussie Yen on, which is, you know, the correlation between Aussie Yen and Euro Yen is pretty strong kind of the same type of trade risk off let's uh, let's see let's go to dollars are it's tricky right because this thing's gonna move 40 handles tomorrow on this budget we think those 40 handles are gonna take it to 1480 maybe 15 um, but you can't you can't ignore the fact it could go 40 handles lower uh, somehow I can't actually figure out in my mind uh, how but just
got to wait. I'm going to wait. See how this speech goes. See what he does about raising uh, money either through the bond market or cutting spending. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, media talk about cutting military spending. Blah, 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 blah. We all pretty much know that uh, a lot of countries threaten to do this, but eventually the military scares everyone into uh, continue their spending. So I don't really feel that is going to hold too much water. But let's put it this way. This whole uh, premise that Rand is going to get smoked uh, is really in jeopardy now below 1410. If we go risk off today, we might end up breaking up through 50 anyway, 1450. Um, but how do you play this? You, you just have to internalize and you just have to visualize what you think is going to happen and then be ready in a timely manner, as in when uh, the speech is being given about the budget, you are watching price and listening. So it'll be very interesting tomorrow. I believe it's going to be around 1 p.m. Uh, Central European time. We're going to have to square that away today, find out the exact timing of this. Um, but it'll be interesting. And then followed up right after that will be the BOC. We're hanging up here post-week CPI. Now we're risk off, which is usually negative CAD doesn't really know what to do. Um, we will sell high ones today if we see him. So let's say prices at 131, sort of between 40 and 131.80, we will, we will fade. We do think that they're going to be most likely neutral. They're going to raise rates, be neutral with a light, slight edge to, to hawkish. Um, not crazy hawkish. They're going to say, well, NAFTA's out of the way, and, and oil prices are steady, and they're not too worried about one print of weak CPI. So, we'll be selling high ones in dollar cat today. Aussie is broken down, a la our Aussie yen position, which is good. The key moment in Aussie is only 20 points away, so this will be the year's lows. 7043, uh, multi years lows. Let's see, when's the last time we were down here? 2016. Yeah, beginning of 2016, we were down at 68, but if we get through this 7040 area, which I do think we'll be getting through today. Um, then we're going to attack 70 cents, uh, and then what typically happens on this is, you know, Aussie's making a new low, China's getting their ass kicked, we get this, like, sort of self-fulfilling prophecy, this sort of death spiral of, of risk-off, Italy's being stubborn, Brexit's a disaster, you know, all these all these angles of risk off and then we'll just punch through 70 cents and then before you know it we're we're going to be looking at these lows here 68.30 so our horse is Aussie yen your horse could be Aussie dollar um, Euro Aussie is probably not the way on this uh, Aussie Swiss for those of you who like the exotics, probably moving the same way. Aussie Swiss, you have this little double top up here. Nah, fuck Aussie Swiss. Aussie yen or Aussie dollar uh, is the way to go here. Of course, short. Uh, keep your eye on the stock market, keep your eye on dollar yen, and keep your eye on global risk. What else? Cable went through 130 yesterday. You see this line here? That was 130.20. Worked out pretty well. 57 was low. We're bang on that low right now. This is going to go lower. We are going to test this level here, which is 129.20, which will be sort of the neckline of this quasi double top. 
no reason to buy sterling. Um, it's just, you know, standard Brexit clusterfuck over there. I don't even look at Brexit anymore. I'm just trading this technically. Um, but of course, you got to keep it a little bit lighter um, than you normally would because of the possible news bombs and the idiotic comments from all the monkeys out there in the UK. Dollar Max continues charging higher. Those of you who are still long from Friday, God bless you. We are square. Uh, this looks pretty steady. This risk off is going to push this thing even higher. 1967 is the next in the crosshairs here, uh, as well as dollar Turkey, as well as dollar Czar. EM is not going to be able to hold up too, too well on this. You got 10 year yields, 317. You got a lot of people out there saying there's going to be a shortage of dollars. Uh, this isn't great for uh, emerging market emerging markets. That's that's all I kind of got for you. We'll keep it very uh, very straightforward today. Like I said, Aussie yen's our horse. Uh, we're in a risk off mood. We will be uh, tactically short euro yen as well. And I guess I should mention it, but everyone knows. Euro through 114.34, there will be risk down there. There will be stops. And there will be exaggeration. So this looks like a break trade. Um, keep your eye on it. Obviously, uh, yesterday morning, we were piling through 115. Everyone's like, oh, double bottom. And we're going to break through 116. Mumble, mumble. Now everyone's going, ooh, break trade, 114.35. Uh, just be patient. Euro is so deep and it's so overtraded and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a monster of its own. So trade the price on this. Through 35, you want to be short. Um, and otherwise, you, you just don't want to do anything, right? Because this thing could go up to 114.90, it could go back to 115. Um, it's euro dollar, right? Kind of trades like S and P's. It's incredibly deep, and when you're not expecting it to be deep, and it's incredibly thin uh, from time to time as well. So, looks like a break trade to me. We'll know. We'll know as we're trading around the 40s if this thing's going to trade. Watch the price dance, and you'll the price will tell you uh, whether this is going to go. All right. I'm babbling now. I am going to get on the bike and head to the office. Have a good day, guys. Make some money today. I will see you tomorrow.